Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today's project is going to be a single color ice dye in the color burgundy. And this will be going into the playlist of Dharma's dye swatches, so I recommend that you check that out. Start by deciding where you want the center of your pattern to be. I like to come down about two inches from the underarm. I used my yardstick to slide it up underneath the t-shirt and then pick it straight up off the table, quick and easy. Now I'm using a lid from a yogurt container and a washable marker to mark out my pattern. And then I'm just going to pleat along this line, making that line as straight as possible. And as I'm pleating, notice how I twist the project in front of me. That really helps make that line nice and straight. Now that I have that line all pleated up, I'm going to simply secure it by using rubber bands. And these are the tiny baby hair rubber bands, and I have a link for them down below in the description box, along with everything else that I use for tie-dye, so go ahead and check that out. Now you could also use kite string, it really is just a matter of preference, but I like to use rubber bands as often as possible because I find them to just be quick and easy. What I'm doing here is I'm trying to keep the pleats all one continuous pleat, not adding any additional pleats, and they're getting kind of tall, and the sleeve just doesn't really want to cooperate with me. Now I'm going to start using larger rubber bands. The shirt's becoming really thick, so those tiny baby hair rubber bands would squish down the pleats, and you don't really want that to happen. So the pleats are becoming increasingly tall. So when I first started, I'd say they were probably at about a half inch, and now they're well over an inch tall. So I'm going to add secondary pleats. That's going to lower down the height, and it's just going to help with saturation. Next, you're gonna to wanna to build yourself some type of an ice barrier. And for this project, I'm using the silicone cake molds. And I'm attaching the clothespins to my rack. That's just gonna help hold it up when I add the ice. You could also use things like foil or cardboard. I've even seen people use the plastic cutting boards that you can get from the dollar store and then you just cut them up into little pieces. Whatever you have will work. Now it's time for the fun part, we get to add the dye. Since this is going to be a single color ice dye, and the whole point of it is to figure out what is burgundy going to do, what color splits are we going to see, I'm going to leave a lot of white space. If I was to add way too much dye to this project, the whole shirt would just turn burgundy, and we wouldn't get to see all the nuances of the color. I 
I have zero intentions of flipping this project, so I'm making sure to add enough dye that it will saturate down through those thick pleats. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure, and I only add it to the areas where I put the dye. Now, this is going to be an incline ice dye, so I take one end of the rack and I place it down inside of the tote, and the other end of the rack is resting up at the top of the tote. That is the incline. And then I add my ice. And I have found that if I add my ice to the bottom of the incline, it's just a lot easier because then it doesn't knock the dye loose and have it roll downhill. And then it's recommended that you let your project batch for 24 hours after the ice melts. It's been about five days and this shirt is bone dry and that's okay. So I was doing gardening and other things and I just couldn't get to the rinse out. So once the soda ash and the procyon dye dry out, there is no longer any chemical reaction happening. And so the shirt just stays suspended as is. So if this happens to you, don't freak out. It's going to be fine. So for the rinse out, you want to start by using cold water. That's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric. And in this case, there is none, but I still go through the motions. And then increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I usually do two hot water cycles using Kirilon. That's a professional textile detergent that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And then I do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft. And Millsoft is a professional fabric softener that I get from Dharma Trading Company. And yes, the links are down below in the description box. Makes it really easy for you to find. And then I'll put it in the dryer and I'll iron it and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our single color ice dye in the shade burgundy after it's been washed and dried. And I think this shirt turned out super cool. First of all, I love the pattern, but I also love the color. And this is the first single color dye I've been in love with for a while. All of the colors haven't really been doing much splitting up until this one. And it's really super pretty in person. I don't think the pictures ever do the shirt you know the true justice but it splits down into like a really pretty it's kind of reminds me of like chocolate ice cream color and then it breaks off into blue and that is super exciting so we've got the dark burgundy tones and then where it's more like diluted sort of this really pretty pink color and then like I said the the brown tones some like darker brown tones and light brown tones and then that blue it just really catches my eye i'm super excited about this shirt and out of the reds this is another one of my favorites i think scarlet was another one that i really loved because it broke down into orange and that was really pretty or maybe it's just this pattern that i love i think i'll make more single ice dyes like this because it's just so uh striking and then this next photograph is the liquid swatch against the ice dye so you can see what both are capable of. So overall, what do you guys think of the color burgundy? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.